G'day folks, welcome to Van Diemen's Land Model Bench. I'm Dan and uh, this is going to be a really quick video but one I wanted to um, do because I wanted to share with you a product I've been using in my latest uh, kit that I'm building. Um, I've been filming bits of this by the way so this will come out later as a complete video. But I've been putting together this um, Polar Lights 1966 television show Batmobile and uh, there you go, you can see a shot of it there. <coughs> it's a great kit by the way, I really enjoyed building it and it's my first car kit so there's been a lot of questions uh, to be answered about how to actually go about building one and preparing one, particularly when it comes to the actual uh, body of the car. And there are a lot of different opinions about um, different clear coats and things like that. So I took a bit of a punt and I've been using a clear coat that's new to me, in fact a new paint uh, that's new to me. And I just wanted to share with you some of my um, experiences because I've been really impressed with it. So first of all, this is the... Uh, this is the body of the Batmobile and as you can see I have painted it and I have put a little bit of polish on it and it's quite glossy as you can see and that's one of the things I like about this product I'm going to talk about but also I want to talk a bit about how durable it is because I, uh, this was the first <coughs> car kit that I've ever done with um, wet sanding so I used wet and dry sandpaper, some different grits and basically sanded out most of the orange peel that you get uh, when you're painting the model and then I clear coated it and uh, sorry clear coated it first then I wet sanded it and then I polished it and for polishing it I used these uh, Tamiya compound polishes so I've got all three different grades I've got the coarse and the uh, the fine and the finish this has currently got the um, finish on it no no, actually it's got the fine. I have to put the finish on it because I'm going to be putting uh, some decals on it and clear coating it again. But one of the things I read about that I was particularly concerned about was the idea of sort of burning through the paint that if you um, were a bit too heavy handed with the sanding or with the polishing you could go through. And so I actually saw some people recommending you don't go to the edges of the model and things like that to try and avoid that risk because you're more likely to do it on the edges. But that kind of... Um, didn't work for me because I was looking at the model and thinking, you know, just to give myself an extra challenge, I started with black, a black coloured car of all things, which shows every mark and uh, every <coughs> bit of orange peel. So I really did want to get into some of the crevices and corners and uh, I was able to do it. <coughs> and the reason why is because of the paint that I used and I was really impressed with it. So I wanted to share with you my experience with it. Um, and it's to do with this company here, which is Mission Models. <coughs> now, um, they're been around for a long time I believe but they're relatively new when it comes to their paints and other materials and a little while ago I, uh, I took a punt on them and bought a few of their paints I don't really need a lot of their paints because I've already got most of the colors in their range in um, other brands but I was curious to see what they were like so there's one of their uh, satire black color there for example and I also got their clear this is their um, <coughs> gloss clear coat. Now I've got a ton of different types of gloss uh, clears in my uh, stash but uh, I don't know it was just something about this one. I would heard that their paints were very good quality so I thought it's worth a shot and I'd get some and try it out and you'll see the bottles actually, I don't know if you can tell but the bottles about halfway empty and that's no fault of the, uh, the paint it's just because I've had so many attempts at trying to paint this car body and get it right because I'm learning as I go it being the first kit that I've done but this stuff is fantastic and I wanted to share it with you. So basically um, you can spray it straight out of the uh, airbrush just as it is if you want or you can thin it down. They uh, Mission Models are particular about using their thinner and there is enough comments online for me to believe that's a valid point. So I have stuck with their brand. I bought it when I got the, uh, when I got the uh, paints. And you just put a few drops of that, not a lot. It wasn't like I thinned it 50-50 or anything. I probably put about two or three drops for every 10 to 12 drops of actual um, clear. And the other product they've got, which goes with their paints, and I also tried it with their clear, is this polyurethane mix additive. And its goal really is to help uh, the paint become a lot more stronger. So it's more resistant to marking and obviously to sanding. And it also... Um, I don't know if it helps with the leveling, but it doesn't certainly seem to hurt. Um, so I applied a few drops. I need a tiny amount of this one. I probably put about two drops for every 10 to 15 drops of the actual clear. 
um, and then I sprayed the whole thing using a uh, what's brand is Vega, but it's basically a Badger airbrush with about a 0.7 needle. So this is quite a large needle in it. So I was able to get a nice wet coat finish onto the model. Now I didn't start the kit with this. I actually got this as I was doing the kit because I realised my regular airbrush really wasn't quite suitable for car painting. Um, but this stuff, wow, is it good. Just straight off the gun, when you've got a decent size airbrush where you can actually put a wet coat on, it goes on beautifully. And I actually think if I'd started with a larger diameter um, needle when I first did the model, I would have actually saved myself a lot of grief and sanding or whatever. But, you know, as I said, first kit, so I'm learning as I go. But the thing that really impressed me, other than the fact that this went on so well and levels so well, is the fact that it is so tough, uh, particularly when you add a few drops of their polyurethane. Um, as I said, I've been wet sanding this, I've been polishing the heck out of it, and you know I'm not experienced at building car kits, so I'm not quite sure how far you can go before you've gone too far. And I'm pleased to say, despite that lack of uh, experience, I haven't gone through the paint anywhere in the car. And as you can see, for an acrylic-based gloss, it really comes up very nicely. Um, it's very nice. It's only downside that I can see is it is fairly expensive uh, compared to some of the other brands out there. So uh, normally I would shy away from it because of that, but because of the actual quality of this product and how well it works, uh, there's absolutely no doubt there'll always be some of this in my stash, particularly for uh, the car kits like this, where I can get away with um, the other clear coats for you know just decals and things like that on military vehicles, I probably won't won't worry about using this. But it's extremely good. Now, if you've had trouble with uh, clear coats in the past, I'm going to recommend this to you very very highly. It works great, and it's obviously if you're a car or a motorcycle builder or something like that, uh, I would highly recommend you you get a bit and check it out and see how you find it because I'm a complete amateur at this sort of stuff and. and I know this isn't a perfect finish by any stretch of the imagination, but if I've got this far with it, uh, with my first attempt, I think someone who's a bit more experienced in car building and preparing paint finishes than I am would absolutely get a superb finish out of this product. So that's all I really wanted to say to you guys. Uh, if, if you haven't checked out Mission Models paints, um, do. Just briefly, I have also tried some of their paint and I've tried some of their primer. Um, that's their paint and I've got a primer there somewhere. And yeah, they're excellent as well. There's nothing wrong with them at all. They work very well. They level very nicely. Um, the only thing to be aware of with Mission Model is they are very particular about using their thinners. There is good reason for it. They've actually um, sort of chemically balanced everything to work together. And so if you want to use their system, you really do need to invest in their thinner and invest in some of their polyurethane if you want that extra hardening effect. Um, it sounds like a bit of a gimmick, but even the mixing of the paints is totally different to what you would do with normal acrylic paints. Um, it's, it's got its own system, and if you stick to their rules, you do get good results. But when I was experimenting, if I didn't stick to their rules, uh, no question about it, it wasn't as good a finish, and it wasn't as durable, and in some cases it was just frankly a bit of a disaster. So. There's good reason why they have instructions on their website that are quite detailed explaining how to use their products. And if you stick with their rules, uh, you get a great result. So I can highly recommend the Mission Model Paints, but in particular, I just want to give a shout out to their Gloss Clear Coat, which is product MMA006. If you have a need for a gloss finish on your models, check them out. Well, that's all I wanted for this review, guys, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.